ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಭಯ ಚರನಾರ ಬಿಂದರಿ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ತಾನ್ ವೇಗಾನ್ ಯೋ ವಿಷ ಹೇತ ಧೀರ ಸೋಬರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಕನ್ ಟಾಲರೇಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಅರ್ಜಸ್ ಅಪಿ ಸರ್ವಾಂ ಅಪಿ ಮಾಂ ಪ್ರತಿ ವಿಮ್ ಸಿಶಾತ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ his photo can go on the altar everywhere except in our case where Srila Govinda Maharaj designated specific persons to be acharyas of specific temples and specific regions and those who he designated they should be acharya and their photo should be put on those altars and they should be the sober persons who following the injunctions of Rupa Goswami making them qualified to initiate then they should initiate disciples if someone has begun initiating and is no longer sh- and but shows that he has fallen from the proper position then what she was should her mind said and wait for some time see if he reestablishes himself he didn't say he should continue initiating and just everyone take their chances or well, bring disciples to him bring bring devotees to him they take initiation and takes their chances just let everyone just let everyone take their chances and you should have no conscience um uh, don't worry be happy this you know continue propagating the show we don't want any doubt to come over the organization we don't want to cast any doubt on the organization that's more important than the purity of the principles that the organization was founded on that's what they are saying purity will not help the organization the structure is what uh is the thing that helps that's the thing of beauty don't you see the the structure that that's the thing that when people want krishna consciousness they want an organization that will give them what they want a name whatever the name is kan godia mat Chaitanya Saraswat Mat the name is everything the name can be everything if the name is the real name and for it to be the real name it has to represent the real thing not some bogus thing the Srila Sridhar Maharaj said and i will say also 
He considered himself a friend of ISKCON. I am a member of Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. I am been given the post of Acharya of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, New York, New Jersey, Detroit. I have sympathy for all the members of this mission, present and past. all over the world. And so I get letters, emails from all over the world, devotees asking different questions, and concerned about these things that I'm speaking about. And they deserve answers, and they don't deserve to be ignored. So I'm giving the answers as possible by me and I am I consider myself a friend of all the followers of Srila Govinda Maharaj Srila Sridhar Maharaj Srila Swami Maharaj and as they instructed. I want to be friend of everyone. I'm not thinking uh, friend and enemy. This one is my friend. This one is my enemy. But if just as there are two uh, faulty ideas about God, that he is everywhere or he is nowhere. In my body conception, he is everywhere. The Buddhist conception, he is nowhere. To say that he is everywhere is another way of saying that he is nowhere. Because those who say he's everywhere, the Mayavadis, if you say, then come and worship him in the temple, worship the deity here, he's present in his deity form in our temple, then they'll say, no, he's not there. He's everywhere, but he's not there where you think he is. Well, that means he's nowhere. There's no real to say he's everywhere is uh, one way of saying he's nowhere. They don't accept uh, the personal existence of God. Anyway, too, I never began any campaign as the enemy of anyone. I, I began a campaign, if you want to call it that, to serve the devotees of our mission for whom I have a natural affection. They served Gurudev. They served my guru with great care and attention. Many persons in our mission showed outstanding, unparalleled service. Um, those who know, know some of the names. And they are mentioned in Gurudev's will also. Jamuna Priya Devi, Bhakti Lalita Devi, Yudhamanyu Prabhu, Kum Kum Devi. Shruta Shrava Prabhu. Is it just a legal document? Why put these names there? Well, we're not supposed to, oh, we're not, the will is meaningless? Is, are these things meaningless? Not to me. I don't believe they were meaningless to Srila Govinda Maharaj. But to ignore 
the real problems, pretend that they don't exist, just to keep a happy face on the organization is not the solution. That is a disservice to all of those who we are supposed to be serving. To promote a lie is a disservice. And time, there's been time enough. This was not, I did not come out immediately on any of these points to immediately make public or speak publicly about these things. But after months and months and months, nothing is done or more things have gone further afoul then uh, I've come out as I'm doing again now. But now it's, I think it's beyond the point of correction. So I'm not, previously I advised, correct yourselves, you International Acharya Board people, correct yourselves, come back to the right standard, follow Guru Dave's will, accept it, follow it, but it's, I don't think that's possible anymore. I think everything is now at the point where Srila Siddhar Maharaj declared about the ISKCON GVC that they uh, will not, uh, they have deviated from the principles of Swami Maharaj. And I do not, and he, I do not want to see the future of ISKCON. And that's where we are now. And I don't want to see the dark future of what has been known as Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. SCSM. If you say SCSM, that doesn't, just like ISKCON, ISKCON, you take the personality away by using these acronyms. ISKCON, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. That's what it's about. SCSM, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. The place for practicing, distributing the precepts of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as practice followed and propagated by Srila Saraswati Thakur. That's what Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat is. That's what it must always be. That must be our focus. That must be the direction that we take it as members of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. And it is always to be considered as being directed by Srila Bhakti Rakak Shuradev Goswami Maharaj and Srila Bhakti Sundar Govindadev Goswami Maharaj who embodied everything that Srila Shridhar Maharaj taught about Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. And hopefully others will continue that that conception and it's possible that those who are presently deviating will come back and continue that, take up the work, draw the current, distribute the current of the great predecessors of this mission. But <coughs> It is very unlikely, and I have, only I see what Srila Sridhar Maharaj saw, Nakula or Sahadev, Sahadev I believe, the astrologer, the Pandava astrologer of the Pandavas, or the brother that was the astrologer, after the chess match, the gambling match, where the Pandavas were uh, exiled to the forest, 
their wife was, uh, the, the Kurus attempted to disgrace Draupadi. They were unsuccessful because of Krishna's intervention. Walking away from there, the five Pandavas showed five different thoughts, ideas about, about what had happened. I think it was uh, Sahadev put his hands over his eyes and Srila Siddharmar has explained why and because the future was of the Kuru dynasty. The future was so horrible he did not want to see it. He could not bear to see it. So I'm afraid we've entered into that period. I'm only commenting on it. I'm not directing it. I'm not uh, in favor of it. I've done everything I can conceivably do, everything I'm aware of that I can do or could have done to prevent it. But I have been... Uh, discarded and uh, Srila Siddhar Maharaj said we shall see who is really in ISKCON and who is not and I believe we shall see who is really in Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mahat and who is not those who will follow with faith and sincerity the guidance, the direction of Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj and those who will follow him and they will be the real members of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mahat will always be with Srila Govinda Maharaj and he will always be with them and they will always be servitors of the conception given by Srila Bhakti Rakat Srila Dev Goswami Maharaj of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Maharaj where the residents are eternally chanting the glories pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his associates and his followers. That is Sri Chaitanya Saraswati Mahat. And we are, worship that and we hold that above our head. We want to serve that conception and the devotees who are the embodiments of that conception. We pray that uh, they will kindly accept us as some particle of dust at their lotus feet. And that is the best position for us. Jai Sparikar Shri Shri Guru Garanga Shri Shri Gandharvika Giri Hari Ju Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Panamahamsa Parivajak Chari Variash Dotara Sapta Shri Srimad Shil Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Gosami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Panamahamsa Parivajak Chari Shil Bhakti Rakak Shirar Dev Gosami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Panamahamsa Shil Bhakti Vidanta Sami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Gosami Maharaj Shil Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Shri Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Nittai Gor Premanande Haribo, Gor Haribo, Gor Haribo. Leela Sundari? Yeah. You had a question? <coughs> Question's a little bit old, but okay. the question is, if if <clears throat> Gurudev 
in his will had the six acharyas that he mentioned um, and in that will he said that he wanted them to rule over their zones um, mm -hmm. he, what doesn't make sense to me is if he asked those people or told those people in his will that he wanted those six acharyas to rule within the specific zones that they've got well, <clears throat> what I don't get is, well, why did Gurudev say those six people in the will, if they, weren't able, if they weren't able to carry out that decision, he wouldn't have put them in there. And if he knew that they were competent enough to do the job, then, <clears throat> did I say if they're competent, if Gurudev said in the will, I want you to do this, 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 and this. Don't you think he would have known, like Gurudev's son of Govinda Maharaj would have known, you know, I, I want you to do this, you have the power, you've got the ability, do it. Mm -hmm. Well, what I don't understand is, if, if he chose them to do that specific thing, why aren't they doing it? <laughs> well, what I don't understand is, if... Uh, he trained us up for like 30 years or so or whatever, each of those six uh -huh. acharyas. Well, he lived with them, he knows their behavior, he knows their consciousness, he knows who they are and what they can take and not. Well, you know, it, it just seems like a, um, a slap in the face or the rear end of the guru because, I mean, it doesn't, if they say it's harder than it looks or it's something, you know, I may, I, I don't think that Gurudev made it hard for anyone. I mean, if they don't want to do it, then they can say, Gurudev, I'm not following the will. And I'll tell the other acharyas about it. But I, I think that is a okay, comment. Well, I can't. You're, you've, you've got well, I, several questions, and uh, I'm only going to be able to answer one at a time. Okay, well, if, if Gurudev well, is not That, is, them, that is what they said. That's at first what they said. We will not follow it. We will not initiate. We will, we are not... <clears throat> they said it mostly, I think, with the idea... Well, no. Some with the idea. They felt not qualified. They thought, uh, for instance, Sripad Trivikram Maharaj, sincerely, humbly, presented himself to me in some discussions we had that he thought these others are more qualified than him. Uh, he thought uh, Sripad uh, Charya Maharaj was more qualified and uh, he th seemed to think that um, uh, Gurudev wanted uh, Acharya Maharaj to be uh, the his only successor, his sole successor. So that's, that's you know, that's not what Guru Dave's will says. It's not, uh, <coughs> you cannot get any understanding like that from reading Guru Dave's will. And uh, I argued the point with him, but he wouldn't accept my points. He thought, uh, uh, also, Goswami Maharaj, he named, he's named all, all, everyone but me. Acharya Maharaj is uh, the real successor of Govinda Maharaj. Whatever he wants me to do, I'll be his servant. Goswami Maharaj, Ashram Maharaj, Janardhan Maharaj, they're uh, all exalted personalities. Uh, I will serve whatever they is their desire. Whatever they want, I'll, I'll follow that. Uh, I, he said, I will be the Ritvik for any one of them. Any one of them wants to choose me as Ritvik, I'll be Ritvik for them. So, that was his uh, idea at the time. He, and he said it because he thought he is not qualified. I thought like you. Guru Dave would not accept him, would not have mentioned him if he didn't think he was, could do the job. That was my position. And that's what I told him. Guru Dave gave you the position 
with that comes the ability to fulfill the responsibilities. You will be able to do it. I believe that you can do it, Trivikram Maharaj. I believed all of them could do it. Because with the order, as you're noting, Leila Sumbi Devi, with the order comes the um, potency, the power, to fulfill the order. Otherwise, there would be very cruel treatment to tell someone to do something which you know that they can't do, and then they'll feel bad if they can't do it. Mm -hmm. So, no, I, I believe that Gurudev thought and expected that each one of the six would uh, be able to fulfill his desire that each will be uh, an acharya, and uh, especially an acharya of the zone uh, or temple that he selected, named them for, named them to be acharya. And uh, that was the inheritance the Guru Dave gave. Here, I give this to you. In most cases, and I think maybe in every case, Gurudev saw that this is something you started. You uh, are the primary leader there already, and uh, I uh, want you to continue there. And I, I was previously, Sheila, in the words of in the manner of Srila Govinda Maharaj saying, I was previously the Acharya there, now I make you the Acharya. Right? <clears throat> and it was, it's clear. So and so shall be Acharya, so and so will be Acharya. I want to see so and so as the Acharya. This will be the Acharya. This shall be the Acharya. And he named the place where they will be, shall be, etc. Acharya. Well, that's an order. That's not, that's not a, 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 um, um, an indication, as uh, Gosani Mars put it. He indicated some acharyas. No, he said, these will be the acharyas. <laughs> Shall be, will be. That's not an indication, that's a direction. Everyone acknowledged it. This is what I am saying. This one shall be the Acharya of. So is it just a cruel game of Govinda Maharaj? Oh, I know that he can't do it, but I'm just going to tell him to do it anyway. Why would he is, do it, is, it, is it an indi is it Is he doing what the International Acharya Board must have thought? Well, Acharya Maharaj is the most qualified. Everyone else is half qualified, uh, one-fifth qualified, one-sixth or, or less. And uh, so all of those in India, they will get the most qualified, but those, those in SoCal, uh, they will get a less qualified uh, guru. And those in Brazil, they will get someone who's really not very qualified. Is that, that guru, that, could that be Guru Dave's idea? Oh, anyone in Brazil, you'll get a, a less qualified guru. Only those who are in India will get a fully qualified guru? No. Cannot be. He expected all six will be equally that Acharya is Acharya. It's not little Acharya and big Acharya. Acharya is Acharya. So he expected these six, they will all be Acharya. Well, they didn't want to be Acharya. They didn't want to be Acharya so much that they refused to do what he told them to do. And only two persons accepted what he told us to do. That is Acharya Maharaj and myself. Gurudev told Acharya Maharaj, be Acharya, and Acharya Maharaj accepted, okay, I'll be Acharya. And Guru Dave said, Giri Maharaj will be Acharya, and I accepted, okay, he wants that, I will be it, I will do it. 
And the others, they all refused. They said, no, we will not. Not only that, but they cast suspicion on me. Oh, the Giri Marj is doing it, that's suspicious. He must be doing it because he has some ulterior motive. That he, he wants to be worshipped as guru, therefore he is accept, accepting the position that Gurudev told him to accept. But for some reason, the one who was getting all the worship was Acharya Maharaj. And not only that, they wanted him to be worshipped by the whole world. But they never, some some reason, never thought that uh, it was a disqualification for him to accept the position of Acharya. So, very odd, what Gurudev said, do this, their position became, don't do it, that will prove that you are a real follower of Govinda Maharaj. And myself, who did what Govinda Maharaj said, that was the proof that I was disqualified. Everything reversed, upside down, topsy-turvy. Because <coughs> they, they, be, they did what Srila Siddhar Maharaj told Govinda Maharaj never to do. Do not accept your, the direction of your mind accept my direction. And unfortunately they immediately began to accept the direction of their mind. Now let's let's be generous and grant them, which actually I I, I don't think it takes any big leap of consciousness to do this. I, I don't deny that they had good intentions. I don't believe that they started off with some evil program to, no, let's disobey Gurudev and let's do something else the, instead. I don't think that, that they were thinking consciously that way. Although that's what it is, because that's what happens when you depart from the instructions of your guru. And that Srila Siddhar Maharaj, Govinda Maharaj explained about Srila Siddhar Maharaj, his, Govinda Maharaj is thinking, but Guru Maharaj, sometimes my mind may be telling me something good. So shouldn't I follow it? Guru Maharaj said, no. That means that you will be uh, accepting your mind and you will have to give payment for that. You'll become indebted to your mind rather, indebted, rather than being indebted to your guru. In other words, you'll become the servant of your mind rather than the servant of your guru. So Srila Siddharmar said, no, don't accept the mind. Even if you think that the mind is telling you something that's better than what I tell you, still don't accept it. An example I gave the other day about Achyutananda. Swami Maharaj told him when he was living with Srila Siddhar Maharaj to make a program in Calcutta on the banks of the Ganges where other groups are going and trying to collect uh, followers. He told Achyutananda to do that, make some program there. And Srila Siddhar Maharaj said, Actually, that was not the program of Srila Saraswati Thakur. His idea was to go after the intellectual, the established people, the high-ranking uh, members of society, make them devotees of Mahaprabhu, and then they will all, uh, then everyone else will automatically follow them. Then, then the Chutananda Maharaj, uh, at that time the Chutananda Brahmachari asked the obvious question, then should I do that or should I do what my guru says? And Srila Siddhar Maharaj said, do what your guru says. He didn't tell him, don't follow your guru. He didn't say, I know better than your guru. He said, oh, what your guru says, you must do. He said, you must do that. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying anything unusual, odd, out of place, concoction. 
all, all I've said from the very beginning and from that very moment when Goswami Maharaj at that meeting on April 7th of 2010, the first meeting of the International Acharya Board, which began with Goswami Maharaj taking the floor and proposing that actually instead of accepting six Acharyas, we should accept that there is only one Acharya. That will be good for the mission, that will be create unity, that is the best thing, whatever his reasons were. Those were some of his reasons. And I said no, immediately no. Not because I'm a big genius. I don't, how those, the words came to me, I, I don't know. All I know is, I heard what Srila Govindamara said, he said there would be six Acharyas, and I immediately accepted there are six Acharyas. So when the proposal came that there will be only one Acharya, then there's only one answer to that, and that is no. That is not the order of our Guru. Just like Saraswati Thakur's disciples, when this person came begging to them, make me the 13th member, make me a member of your... I repent for all the nonsense that I did. I repent, oh please, I'm crying, please accept me, make me a member of the GBC also. Okay, they, okay, we make you. That was the wrong thing. First departure from the instructions of Saraswati Thakur. Srila Swami Maharaj Prabhupada thought it was very significant. Otherwise, why mention it? He mentioned it. Mysteriously, it became 13. Guru Maharaj said 12. Mysteriously, it became 13. Now we see that in our... with the International Acharya Board. Guru Dev said 6. Mysteriously, it became 7. They added another one because he came crying to them. Oh, I, I want to be Acharya. Make me an Acharya. Gurudev didn't, didn't name me as one. Oh, but it's, oh, but please, please, I want to be Acharya. Please let me join your group. Let me be a, recognize, give me recognition also that I will be Acharya. Another deviation. Gurudev said who he wanted. Was he, you know, how can how how can you not understand that it is an offense to not accept? Gurudev said six, mysteriously became seven. Is there any logic to think? If Gurudev wanted seven, he would not have named seven. He took the trouble to name six, but to add one more name, he, what, ran out of energy? What? No, he, he wanted six. If he'd wanted seven, he would have named seven. As Srila Swami Maharaj said, the real point who will be Acharya, the real point, he did not consider? <coughs> well, Govinda Maharaj didn't consider the real point, who he wants to be Acharya. He didn't consider it carefully when he named who the six will be. He forgot. Oh, no, there was a seventh I meant to include. I forgot. No, he didn't want a seventh. If he had wanted seven, he would have named seven. And all seven, I would have been recommending, as I recommended with the six, that all seven should be accepted as acharyas in our mission. And everyone in the zones of those acharyas should follow that acharya. And he should initiate, and etc., etc. Who, 
was previously the Acharya, Govinda Maharaj. This is his successor. Follow his successor. That's what I said. Naturally, I would say that. Naturally, that's what we would think, Gurudev, and expect, and have reason to think and expect that Gurudev wants. He named six Acharyas. Must be some reason. He must have thought, and this I can also prove because it was said by Srila Sridhar Maharaj about those who Swami Maharaj selected, that he must have expected that they will are the most suited for the work. Of course, naturally. Of course, Srila Govinda Maharaj expected those who he selected were the most suited for the work. Then the next question is, then was he wrong? Are we to think as um, as Prabhu Bhargava, one of my godbrothers, disciple Swami Maharaj, was asking Srila Siddhar Maharaj, he was uh, disturbed, Bhargava was disturbed. I can't help but, I've seen what happened. This was uh, late, uh, late 1982, like uh, November, I believe, 1982. <clears throat> so Srila Swami Maharaj disappeared, 19... Seventy-seven. So five years have gone by, and uh, many things the disciples of Srila Prabhupada have seen in those years, and what they've seen is what we unfortunately are seeing now. That some uh, obviously cannot follow, cannot show the real standard of acharya. They're behaving in ways obviously unbefitting an acharya. And so Prabhu Bhargava was wondering. What happened? Our Gurudev, our Swami Maharaj, named these persons. They are obviously unqualified. Should we think that our Guru made a mistake? No. No, that is not the proper conclusion. Matirna Krishna, Paratakshvato Va, Mitobi Padyeta, Griha Vratanam, Adanta Gobir, Vishatang Tamishram, Punak Punas Charvita, Charvananam. This is a little heavy verse because it's, it was Prahlad Maharaj describing the uh, position of his. Uh, best of the Asura's father, uh, Hiranyakashipu. But it, it, the uh, idea applies. In this verse, Prahlad Maharaj is, is telling his father that those who are too much addicted, for those who are too much addicted to sense gratification, then nothing can help them. Nothing will help them uh, become Krishna conscious. And Srila Prabhupada mentions in describing in, the, in, the, in purports and in conversations or lectures about this verse, for one who does not want to surrender to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, 
his guru cannot help him. Having a meeting of members of the church, the, uh, the clerics, the Brahmins, the Vaishnavas, having a meeting and discussing what to do will not help him. He cannot help himself either. In other words, there is no one on this earth who can help such a person who, because of unbridled addiction to his senses, refuses to leave the control of his senses. He continues to want to enjoy his senses, like we were reading. Who is Dira? Vacho Vegam, Manasakrota Vegam. Who is Dira? Who can control the ur who is sober? Who can control the urges of the senses? So Matir Nakrishne Paratakshvatova Mitobi Padyeta Griha Vratanam. Who wants to live as a Griha Madi, a sense enjoyer. They can't help him. Go on to the next person. Look for someone else to preach to. Look for someone else to try and bring to Krishna consciousness. That's his freedom as a jiva. He has the freedom to be a sense enjoyer, to be an asura, like Hiranyakashipu. Everyone has the freedom to be deva or asura, demigod or devotee. It's everyone's freedom. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing you or any of us can do about that. So, she looked, so the verse applies in this situation because what does it mean one who is um, uh, too much addicted to his senses? He will not leave the jurisdiction of the senses, doesn't that also mean if someone will not follow his guru, then his guru cannot help him. And I cannot help him. And any number of persons like me or you, you cannot help him. We can have a meeting and decide what we can do to help him. And that also will not help him. And he cannot help himself either. <coughs> that is the situation. One who will not follow the direction of his guru, who if prefers instead to follow his own <coughs> mind, then he is in this category. No one can help him. So Gurudev gave everything. Here, here are my assets. I give them to you, my spiritual assets. You, uh, when approached by a sincere seeker, <coughs> when you're approached by a sincere seeker, <coughs> you give him the divine <coughs> mantra, the Hare Krishna mantra. spiritual asset, the Vaikuntha Nam, what is coming from the transcendental world through Srila Govinda Maharaj, through Saraswati Thakur, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Sridhar Maharaj. <coughs> that divine mantra, when the sincere seeker approaches you, <coughs> you distribute, you give that to him. They, they said, no, we will not do that. <laughs> We're not qualified. Okay, you're not qualified. I understand that. I felt the same thing. I approached it in a, from a different angle. I am not qualified, but I will follow the order. No one will think he's qualified. That's a given. So no question anyone will think 
I am qualified. Although, <laughs> they say that, and I have to take it back. <coughs> when they say, we know what Gurudev wants, <coughs> then they're saying, we are qualified. But you see, everything that, anyway, all, so many important points in regards to these. <coughs> but I can't take this interruption. I'm sorry. I can't pause it. No, come back when this is stopped. Yeah. So I am not qualified. Yes, I am not qualified. I am not qualified <coughs> to do the work that has been given to me to do. Then what? Srila Govinda Maharaj also thought he was not qualified. But he didn't refuse to do what his guru told him to do. That is what a disciple must do. What our guru directs, then we must try life and soul. We may not be successful, but we must try with all the sincerity at our command and with all energy, with every resource at our command, then we must try to do what our guru has ordered us to do. We must follow our guru. So do or die. So my idea was do or die. Then I will do or I will die trying to do. And that's what I think the others should have done also. Acharya Maharaj, I think, uh, accepted that. I don't blame Acharya Maharaj for accepting the position Guru Dave wanted for him. He did the right thing. The others should have followed him. They should have also considered what I considered when faced with the question, why Guru Dave named six Acharyas? He must have some reason. They didn't consider. If he had any reason, what does it matter whether he did or not? That he said it is enough. We don't need to know the reason. And I also said that. I don't know what the reason is. But there must be some reason that we should follow what he has directed. Very simple. Very simple. Not complicated. Very simple. So Guru Dev said, six Acharyas. And they said, we don't want to be Acharya. And then so much speculation. Well, if someone is named Acharya, but he doesn't want to be Acharya, then shouldn't that be accepted? Now remember I said all these important things, they want to play both sides of it at the same time. They didn't want to be Acharya. At the same time, they wanted to be Acharya. So they declared that we are both Acharya and not Acharya simultaneously. And we are supposed to think, oh, just see, it is Achintya. <laughs> Achintya, look, they're, they're showing Achintya Beta Beta Tattva. They are giving illustration. They are Acharya and they are not Acharya at the same time, simultaneously. One and different. One, Acharya, and different from Acharya, simultaneously at the same time, inconceivably, simultaneously, Acharya and not Acharya. <laughs> when were they Acharya? When they wanted to tell me what to do. Then they were Acharya. They declared they are the Acharyas. 
So I needed, I, so they declared that they have given permission to me, who Govinda Maharaj named as an Acharya. They later, five, six months later, after the fact, after I had already begun initiating, they gave me permission then to start initiating. And with their blessings. But they were not Acharya. They said, we defer. We defer to Acharya Maharaj. That means, defer means they are not Acharya. <coughs> but then when they wanted to be, take the role of Acharya and, and declare, this is what the Acharyas will do, then suddenly they were the Acharya board again. An Acharya board of four Acharyas. Ashram Maharaj, Janardhan Maharaj, Avaduta Maharaj, Acharya Maharaj. Four Acharyas, one non-Acharya. Goswami Maharaj, not named as an Acharya. So they should have formed the Acharya board, the Acharya Sabha that Gurudev told them to form in his will. An Acharya Sabha comprised of initiating Acharyas for the purpose of consulting with one another and giving guidance to all other boards. They should have done that. There would be six Acharyas on that Acharya board, Acharya Sabha. But the four Acharyas refused to do that because they knew that Goswami Maharaj would not qualify to be on that Acharya board. And they, once again, thought, we know better, we know what Guru Dev wants. He doesn't want what he said in his will. We know what he wants, so we won't do what he said to do. We're not going to do it. So the four Acharyas who would not accept disciples, who would not put their photo in the parampara, who declared that they defer, and it's, I can prove that they deferred, they deferred to Acharya Maharaj. We're not Acharya. We defer. We give the position to someone else, Acharya Maharaj. He will be the Acharya. We defer to him. We put his photo on our altar, not our photo. Not the photo of the Acharya for SoCal. That photo will not go on the altar in SoCal. Acharya Maharaj, he is the Acharya whose photo goes on the Acharya of, uh, on the altar in the Parampara of SoCal, has a clear meaning. Janardhan Maharaj is not the Acharya of SoCal. He has deferred. The Acharya of SoCal is Acharya Maharaj. That's why his photo is in the Parampara on the altar of the SoCal Mat or SoCal Ashram. That's why in Mexico, Ashripad Ashram Maharaj put the photo and directed the devotees of Mexico to put the photo of Acharya Maharaj on the altar of all the temples in Mexico because he, Ashram Maharaj, had deferred to Acharya Maharaj and not only that, and declared it. He will be the Acharya. All the results shall go to him. Only he, Acharya Maharaj, will initiate. I will act as his Ritvik. I will not be Acharya, Ashram Maharaj said. Avaduta Maharaj, the same thing. Put Acharya Maharaj's photo on the altar of the temples in Russia. Why? Because Avaduta Maharaj declared he will not be Acharya. He 
the Acharya will be Acharya Maharaj. I, Avaduta Maharaj, defer to him. Do not look to me as being Acharya. He, Acharya Maharaj, he is the Acharya. Trivikram Maharaj, same thing in Brazil. I do not want to take the position of Acharya. Acharya Maharaj was invited to go to Brazil and initiate disciples in the zone where Govinda Maharaj, our guru, said Trivikram Maharaj would be the Acharya. But Trivikram Maharaj thought he knew better than Govinda Maharaj. No, Govinda Maharaj said, I will be the Acharya. I don't accept. I think Acharya Maharaj will be the Acharya. So, he put Acharya Maharaj's photo on his, on the altar in his temple, his mat, in Brazil. He deferred. And so they all deferred. They, they don't want to be Acharya. They deferred. We will not be Acharya. Oh, until, until some decisions come that require the imprimatur of Acharya. Then all, they get, all of a sudden, they're Acharya again. Oh, we, will, we have decided as the Acharyas, because they're the only ones who can decide such things, that um, uh, Acharya Maharaj will no longer be the only initiating Acharya in Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. We, we will now have six Acharyas. Previously they declared there shall only be one Acharya. Now they declare, no, now there will be six. What, what right do they have to do that? Because they are Acharyas. This is what they are thinking. We are not Acharya? Oh, now we are Acharya again. Uh, notice everyone, take note. Now we are, we are Acharya. So, oh, that other, forget, like, white out, uh, what, the spray paint, um, blot out of history. You know, where we said we weren't Acharya? No, we now, we are Acharya. Now you have to follow us because we are Acharya. Accept our decision, the decision of the Acharyas, of Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. And they protest when I say that they are behaving like clowns. So Gurudev gave what they needed to be Acharyas. And they said, we don't want it. And what is Gurudev supposed to do? Is it his fault? It's their fault. Is it his error? No, it's their error. Was it Gurudev's mistake that he named these persons who I think any reasonable man in our mission would have to consider uh, uh, among the most qualified and dedicated and everything? Naturally they were choices. There's no question in my mind that they are natural choices. <coughs> Look, Excuse I me. told you, don't come in here until this is stopped. I'm sorry. But you're still here. I'm sorry. Oh, Hare Krishna. Gurudev expected that they would fulfill the responsibility he 
left them, that he gave to them, to each of us. It was naturally then our expectation. We had the same expectation. I was very disappointed to see that expectation expectation given so little regard. So the mistake, was there a mistake made? Yes, there was a mistake. Is it Guru Day's mistake? No. The mistake is that they deviated from his direction. They decided they will not follow his direction. They did not follow his direction. They have not, are not following it still. Now we're coming to two years since Guru Day's disappearance. Nothing has changed. Nothing will change. Can I see the future? No. Is it an absolute prediction? No. But history has shown that they will not change. They will do the same thing. They've already done everything to set up the, the institutionalized Acharya Guru system. They've established it. It will not go back <laughs> to the real Guru disciple Acharya. Acharya has his Sampradaya. Acharya has his mission. It, will, it won't be that. That's the only meaningful way that there can be real guru-disciple relationship. Srila Siddhar Maharaj showed that. Srila Swami Maharaj showed that. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur showed that. So many acharyas and gurus of Gaudiya Mat, Judge of Maharaj showed that. So many Madhav Maharaj, Goswami Maharaj, this is they showed it. They became acharyas, they had their own missions, their own sampradayas, as they should. It's almost unavoidable. I say almost Everything is possible <clears throat> because Krishna can do anything. So everything is possible. But as I <laughs> told someone that was saying, posing the question, isn't such and such thing possible? The question was about, anyway, something. Yes, it's, everything is possible. It's possible that tomorrow morning you know, I will wake up on the, your kitchen floor. <laughs> and this is someone in a, a country, foreign country, 10 hours away by, uh, by airplane. So it's possible that tomorrow morning I'll wake up and I'll find that I'm on your, I was sleeping on your kitchen floor. Because Krishna can do anything. So just like Ramanuja went to sleep in Jagannath Puri and woke up someplace else. That's possible. South India. That's possible. Of course it's possible. It's possible that they will reverse everything and decide Giri Maharaj was right all along. We should have listened to him. We should have done what he said when he told us to follow Guru Dev's will. We should have followed it. Now we're going to do that. And we uh, welcome Giri Maharaj back uh, as a, our, our real friend because he was giving us good advice all along. We should have listened. But 
if I wake up on uh, the kitchen floor of one of you tomorrow, then I <laughs> will believe that this other scenario is possible, that they will take that position. Oh, we were wrong all along. We should have followed uh, what Giri Maharaj said, which was to uh, take the direction of Gurudev's will, follow Gurudev. We should have done that. And now we'll do that. We'll reverse everything, reverse course, turn the ship around, try to patch everything up, bring it back in order. But <coughs> that's, uh, that's not an expectation that I have. But if you have such an expectation, then Look for me on your kitchen floor <laughs> tomorrow morning. <laughs> you may find that I, I wake up having slept there through the night. <laughs> Maybe Lord Jagannath or someone will transport me. <laughs> Hare Krishna. So does that answer your question, Leela Sundri Devi? Yeah. I hope so. Gurudev did not make any mistake. The mistake is <coughs> those who decided they will not follow Gurudev's direction. And there is nothing I can do to change that, nothing you can do. Um, everyone can, you know, uh, advise these meant to change course, but I think you will be met uh, with great resistance. And uh, I believe it's better to just go on in a uh, more perfect way, show by our example that we will follow Gurudev's direction. Well, that's what I said some months ago. That then uh, was uh, made to appear that I'd said something outlandish. And I said, I will try to draw the current to me. What is Sri Chaitanya Saraswati Mat in the conception of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur? Or I'm sorry, in the conception of Srila Bhakti Vakat Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj. In the conception of Srila Govinda Maharaj, that current I will try to attract to me and follow their directions as closely <coughs> as possible by me. And I welcome everyone who has a similar interest to join with me, and I will join with you. And together we will serve their divine graces strictly with care and attention to their instructions, trying to follow their instructions and distribute their divine precepts for the good of every living entity. That is what I think, that positive thing we should do. And I mentioned I will try and do that in the only way available to me and that's the, where I have been given some jurisdiction, New York, New Jersey, Detroit. But uh, my jurisdiction is not limited there. And uh, wherever I get the chance, then I will try to uh, follow strictly the direction of Sri Guru and Goranga. Invite others, welcome others to join with that give encouragement as much as possible to do that. And those that will follow this, there is a bright future. And uh, Gurudev must be pleased See there, I've almost said it. I know what Gurudev wants. Gurudev must be pleased, but who can deny it? Gurudev must be pleased if you follow him. 
That I can say. <coughs> Who will follow Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj? He will be pleased with you. And who will follow Krishna's orders? He will be pleased with you. Who can deny it? Must be. So that is our aspiration, our very high aspiration. It is something for which we are not very well suited. We have some chance, some opportunity by the grace of Srila Govinda Maharaj. And I emphasize him. I have three gurus I have said. Srila Sami Maharaj, Srila Shira Maharaj, and Srila Govinda Maharaj. But I'm giving emphasis always to Srila Govinda Maharaj. Because um, this position especially was given directly by him, this position of Acharya. Then uh, I owe it to him to, fall, uh, to, be, to represent him to represent his uh, vani, his directions. But I don't find any difference between his instructions and those of Srila Shira Maharaj or Srila Swami Maharaj. So it's an easy thing to do. Without any conflict, without any sort of uh, quarrel in my mind or something like that, I don't feel any anything like that. It's easy. Because I see no difference. Their Divyavani is the same. Well, maybe some particular point there's variance, but those are not uh, problematic. Substantially, there's no difference. No difference in substance. Why? Because Guru is one. Very simple thing. That's the meaning. Guru is one. Prabhupada is guru, Srila Sridhar Maharaj is guru, Govinda Maharaj is guru, and guru is one. They are one as guru. So, I have no conflict in my mind in uh, this. And, uh, Another thing is that I believe Govinda Maharaj to be the most qualified of the followers of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. Srila Sridhar Maharaj unquestionably directed us to follow Govinda Maharaj. I do not believe I have any position with Srila Sridhar Maharaj except the position that Govinda Maharaj gives me. If Govinda Maharaj gives some position then to me or to anyone, then Srila Sridhar Maharaj will accept that person in that position. That's my belief. So I don't have any direct approach, although I approached him directly in the beginning, I approached Srila Sridhar Maharaj directly, but he made it clear that uh, Govinda Maharaj is his uh, representative through whom everyone should work. So I am working through Govinda Maharaj. I am serving Srila Sridhar Maharaj through his most uh, dedicated servant, Srila Govinda Maharaj. And as Srila Swami Maharaj accepted Govinda Maharaj like his own son, and I did not have so much, uh, hardly any, I had I, actually better to say none, I had no direct service given by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. I distributed his books, I followed his temple presidents, his GBC, etc. Uh, I was personally initiated by him, but uh, I don't uh, want to make any pretense that I had some uh, 
lots of his uh, you know, direct personal association and guidance or something. <coughs> Nor do I think it's required. I think that another foolish thing to think that's the only way by which we can judge a devotee, how much personal uh, direct association. What was Prabhupada's personal and direct association with Saraswati Thakur? been characterized as him meeting him on a few occasions. But, but Shila, did Srila Swami Maharaj get it? Did he get what Saraswati Thakur was distributing into the environment? Yes, he got it. He got it 100%, 1000%. And that is clear by everyone's estimation including Srila Sridhar Maharaj and Srila Govinda Maharaj. Govinda Maharaj said, sometimes Saraswati Thakur appeared stronger in Swami Maharaj and sometimes stronger in Srila Sridhar Maharaj. So the current was there. And uh, I cannot think that... Uh, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj would be anything uh, but pleased to see me, an insignificant disciple of his, uh, accept and follow the direction of Srila Govinda Maharaj, who he knew would be the successor of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. And he had great uh, appreciation, personal appreciation and expectations of Srila Govinda Maharaj. And I fully believe that Srila Govinda Maharaj fulfilled all those expectations. Not only that Srila Sridhar Maharaj had for him, but that Srila Swami Maharaj had for him. And both, if they see that I am serving sincerely, the direction of Srila Govinda Maharaj, then they will both be pleased with me. Das, das, anu das. Why not? It is the only way. It is the best way. Serve the servant of the servant of the servant. That's the way. That's the way that is best for us. So, we are trying. I am the servant of all of you. I am the servant of the devotees. My service, you may not like how I have decided exactly what my service should be. Um, I am trying to serve by distributing what Srila Sridhar Maharaj has said what Srila Govinda Maharaj has directed, the guidance of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. According to my capacity, I'm trying not to invent anything new. I don't want to be known as a great inventor. I want to be known as a great messenger. What they gave, I am now helping others to remember, I'm distributing, reminding, <coughs> explaining, not inventing, not concocting. Jai Sparikara Shri Shri Guru Garanga Shri Shri Gandharvika Giri Hari Ju Ki Jai. Jai Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. <coughs> Jai Shri Bhakti Rakak Shura Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shiva Bhakti Vinanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Goswami Maharaj Shiva Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Shri Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai Jai all the devotees of Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai all the 
disciples and followers of our Sri Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. My obeisances, my dandavats to all of you. Hare Krishna.